We have all faced energy crisis in some form like power cuts. One proposal to deal with this is to look at alternate sources of energy like piezoelectricity. Broadly speaking, there are two categories of sources of energy, conventional and non-conventional. Conventional is well developed and widely used. Typically, they are non-renewable and polluting. For example, thermal power which uses coal, nuclear power which makes use of uranium and hydroelectricity. Out of these, hydroelectricity is renewable, so that is uh, somewhat like an exception. Non-conventional sources include wind, solar, tidal and biogas energy. Another recent avenue is energy harvesting, which harnesses small-scale kinetic energy, light, sound or heat energy, which is usually lost into the surroundings. For example, we can charge our mobile phones while walking. How cool is that going to be? There are different types of energy harvesting methods. Piezoelectric effect converts mechanical stress into electric signal and quartz can be one material uh, which demonstrates piezoelectric effect. Thermoelectric effect makes use of temperature gradient and pyroelectric effect harnesses temperature change. We will focus on piezoelectric effect. Long ago, I had uploaded a demonstration of piezoelectric effect and that video crossed over 1 lakh views and many people had queries and questions regarding the project. So this video is actually in response to that and I will share all the details of piezoelectric effect and the project over here. Piezoelectric effect was first demonstrated in 1880 by the Curie brothers, Pierre Curie and Jacques Curie. In the following year, Gabriel Lippmann mathematically demonstrated the converse effect, which is used in sound amplification. Piezoelectricity, by definition, is the generation of electricity upon the application of pressure. It is derived from the Greek word piezo, meaning pressure. This animation over here shows uh, the application of pressure which leads to the generation of voltage which can be seen in this voltmeter. Piezo materials can be synthesized in the form of discs, plates, rings and cylinders and piezo discs is one of the most uh, widely available commercial products. Piezoelectric effect is demonstrated by those crystals which do not have center of inversion and some of the examples include tourmaline, quartz and topaz. Let us now look at an intuitive picture of piezoelectric effect. So this is a simplified model of quartz uh, in which charge distribution is neutral. We can see that there is no inversion symmetry over here. The red dot uh, represents silicon or positive charge and blue represents oxygen or negative charge. On application of stress, the crystal is deformed, breaking the symmetry. This leads to accumulation of charges and creates a dipole moment. Now, if we apply stress in the other direction, we see that an opposite dipole is created. Thus, the process of continuous contraction and expansion leads to generation of alternating voltage due to the generation of dipole moments in opposite directions. These are some simple mathematical proportionality relations uh, which involve piezoelectric effect. So, electric field is proportional to stress and strain is proportional to the field and piezoelectric coefficient and the proportionality constants are related to Young's modulus. Let us look at a simple demo over here. This is from one of the videos taken from YouTube. The link is given over here in this presentation.
of the LED is connected to the red wire which is positive and the shorter end of the LED is connected to the black wire which is negative. Now pressing the piece of this leads to lighting up of this LED. There have been a few commercial attempts to harness to harvest energy and for example uncharted play creates footballs and skipping ropes which could double up as emergency light. Similarly paved gen tiles creates tiles to generate electricity by walking or running over them. Now, in order to use piezoelectric effect, we can install piezo materials in drums or shoes or boxing equipment. Each of these involve application of varying pressure which will give electricity. I decided to go ahead with boxing. The idea is to basically put piezo discs inside boxing bags so that it stores energy whenever the athletes are practicing boxing and the stored energy will generate electricity for small scale applications. Let us look at the required circuit diagram. So over here we have a piezo disc. Since it generates alternating current in response to varying pressure, it is connected to a rectifier. And then the capacitor stores the charge when the piezo disc is in use. Once sufficient charge is stored by using the piezo disc for significant amount of time, we then close the switch. And then when the switch is closed, the discharge of charge via resistor to LED takes place which leads to lighting up of the LED. And this is the design for the full wave bridge rectifier which requires 4 diodes to convert AC signal into DC signal. This is the list of the components used. So we make use of 4 diodes which are uh, required for the bridge rectifier to convert the AC output of the piezo discs into DC output. Capacitor is for storing the charge. Resistor is for discharge, LED basically lights up. Six piezo discs have been used in combination in the series parallel combination for better output. And of course, soldering iron, wires, printed circuit board and multimeter. Here are my observations. A single piezo disc generated about 6 volts and two piezo discs uh, generated about 12 volts when used uh, in this particular combination. So series combination is actually good for voltage and parallel combination is good for current. So in my setup, I used six piezo discs, three in series, which is in parallel with another set of three in series. So this is my setup over here. As you can see, uh, there are four diodes, the small black pieces. Let me show it with this laser pointer. Yeah, so these are the four diodes. This is the capacitor. This is the resistor over here. This is the switch. This is the LED. And these are the six piezo discs. Three in series, three in series and uh, this, these sets in parallel. So... As you can see all these components over here now let us look at the demonstration the video this was the video that I had uploaded so I'm trying to simulate boxing action by punching the piezo discs and this yellow plate is to simulate a punching bag behind which the piezo discs will be placed And now you can see that this LED lights up when I connect the switch. 
okay uh let me run the video once again the link is given over here it's already uploaded on my channel so you can see that this led lights up for a few seconds and basically if i punch more if i punch for a greater amount of time the led will light up for a longer duration the implementation and improvement of this prototype will involve using larger piezo slabs instead of small piezo discs and further uh, we can use higher values of capacitor and resistor to provide a longer discharge time so the led will uh, basically light up for a greater duration of time and this idea of this circuit would be better suited for wall mounted punching bags so that's all from my end i hope i was able to address all your queries and finally here's an inspirational quote from mary com our very own boxing legend so she says people used to say that boxing is for men and not for women and i thought i will show them some day i proved myself i promised myself and i proved myself thank you very much